Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome to a new Redstone video. It has been an incredibly long time since I uploaded something. Um, I, I don't know, I was kind of burned out with Minecraft. That's my excuse. I was busy with other stuff. Um, but this week, I, uh, I had some inspiration, and I felt like I want to mess around with stuff again. And it was... This was after uh, Peter Zhang, another redstoner, uh, released a video on a movable seven-segment display, so a flying machine with like displayed the the steps it took, uh, and it had a bunch of like feed tapes in it. I was like, that's interesting. I want to mess around with that. So I tinkered a bit and um, I made um, a missile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Um, but I don't know, I just, like, it's been so long, it's fun. Um, and what I, like, this thing is super impractical, but what I was aiming for was to have a missile with a built-in step count, or like, built-in sort of distance calculator, where after X amount of blocks, it would explode. Uh, and that's what I made. Uh, it is a 3 by 3 footprint missile. Uh, I'm gonna start it out, uh, start it up. It's a, a little bit awkward starting it like this, but it's, it's fun. And I'm gonna start this one as well. This one is more bare bones, so you can see uh, the mechanics a little bit better. Um, that's my phone, ignore that. Um, so what's happening now, I see that I forgot a white pain there, but um, essentially what we have here is a movable feed tape as I'm moving forward. Um, it is 16 blocks, and it has a downward-facing observer blocks. Observer blocks are extremely cool. <laughs> like I'm, I, the whole point of this was for me to kind of like get a, used and see what sort of potential observer blocks have. But they are really cool. Um, but uh, having having a 16 block feed tape means that you can do something after 16 blocks. But having a missile explode after 16 blocks is kind of awkward. So what I wanted was a second movable feed tape, which is what you see here in blue, which I also color coded extremely weirdly, I see now. Um, but every time that this observer block uh, goes above the uh, quartz block there, it essentially triggers the second feed tape. And the second feed tape has an observer block that is facing upward. And whenever it is, or at some point, it's about 150 blocks, uh, this glowstone block is going to be directly above the observer block, which will then, in the missile with TNT here, trigger like a TNT on the left and the right, which will, you know, cause mayhem and destruction. Um, in order to accomplish this uh, feed tape stuff, I had to actually do a pretty complicated sequence where I had to like uh, push, move forward, uh, pull down with the sticky piston, push. Um, and of course, I have to move this piston forward as well. So it's like a, a six sequence uh, piston behavior thing that's happening. Um, and that's that was pretty tricky, seeing as I only had a three by three footprint, footprint to work with. That's kind of the limit I gave myself. Um, but I, I managed to, after a pretty long time, managed to figure it out. Um, and then I had uh, like kind of had a second feed tape nexus. That was the second issue. I wanted two of them next to each other. I have to admit, I actually tried to get a third one as well, um, but like just because of the piston push limits and like things kind of like interacting with each other, um, that didn't really work out. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on this one now because we're getting relatively close um, to an explosion. But I don't know. This I feel that this sort of movable feed tape stuff has a lot of potential. And what also I also find interesting is that this part of the missile actually never really moves. Um, so you have like a, a roadway that's just stable. And uh, we're gonna have an explosion as soon as that thing um, reaches the quartz. And the redstone lamp should light up for a moment, or actually it should stay on. Oh, there we go. And it triggers TNT, and it's probably gonna blow up my other one as well. Luckily, it did not, so we can continue looking at this one. Um, but yeah, we, uh, it, I think I, I, calcu or I calculated or I, I checked it out in a bit. It's about 150 blocks. Um, but the cool thing is, depending on how you set up the, uh, the feed tape, 
means that you can have it do something somewhere between 1 and 150 blocks, um, which is, I think, really cool, because that just makes it so that if you have any timed bombers or anything along those lines, where you have a flying machine that after X amount of blocks needs to like launch a second missile or maybe a second flying machine that's on board, stuff like that, you can have stuff like that essentially built into your flying machine. And uh, you can make these a lot more complex. Oh, this one is pretty complex, but I'm, I would have meant like if you have more uh, maneuvering space to build stuff like this, you, you can essentially program a missile or a flying machine to do stuff after you know X amount of blocks. Um, and I guess in a sense you can also combine it with like onboard timer. So like after a certain amount of time, you stop your flying machine for a moment, and then you activate. Uh, a stable clock, just a clock that is not moving um, just by moving redstone blocks. I know that this is something Peter Zhang has done in the past as well. Um, so you can you can like do crazy stuff with this. And I, like I said, this thing itself, super impractical, but you know, this is just exploring the science in a way. And I just think it's really cool. Uh, I don't know. I like, I actually really like looking at the the one with the the glass paints, because you can just see better all the stuff that's going on. I haven't really talked about any of the stuff that's going in like internally. Um, I really like the fact that you can't really see it, but uh, yeah, where you see the slime block, um, there is essentially there, there's a reason that this thing only uh, this second feed tape is nine blocks, which is a really odd number for a feed tape. It's because I I had to overcome the the push limit on this piston here that really like actually no it's this piston here that was really messing with me anyway so i'm just like mumbling at this point um new video <laughs> like um yeah i i am expecting that i'm probably slowly going to get back into things again um don't expect like tons of videos anytime soon but uh yeah i should probably I will, pr I will probably be uh, doing some things here and there again. So anyways, guys, I, uh, I will add a download link to this missile if you want to like have a closer look at it or maybe tinker with it a bit, look at the mechanics. And um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And I guess tell your friends that I'm kind of back in a way. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.